Hello, good morning everyone. Uh, we, are, we are set for our first and one of the most awaited tour from Bangalore to Northeast. So this is going to be almost uh, 3000 kilometers. It's kind of very much exciting journey. So right now it is uh, 4, 40. Yeah. 4.40 so we'll be starting from Bangalore at 5 o'clock and as per our map we will be today we aim to reach from Bangalore to Vijayabada uh, most probably if everything goes fine so we'll be reaching to Vijayabada so hope we'll be keeping you updating on the way. Uh, hoping the best trip ever. Yes. So are you ready, Frederick? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I'm ready. I'm so excited, no? Okay, amazing. So what about you? I'm also very excited. Okay. 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 So okay. now. Yes. Okay, guys. We'll keep you updating. Bye. Okay. The baby girl is ready to take us through the long journey. Our car is ready, so we'll be starting at start at five o'clock from Bangalore. Uh, so our destination is going to be Guwahati and up to Shillong. So right now we are at our apartment in Bangalore. So guys, we'll keep on updating about our journey. So how it is going to be? We are so excited. We're crossing the uh, Bangalore International Airport, and we are on. Our way to Hyderabad, yes, Tamil Nadu. So that is going to be the first uh, destination. Uh, I think probably once we reach to Tamil Nadu, we'll be having breakfast there. Yes. Yeah. Right. So this uh, national highway seems to be so bright, so amazing. Is it like Makhan Road? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we are really enjoying it, and we're hoping the best journey ever. And how do you feel, Patrick? Yeah, it was very excited and all now. So uh, hopefully we'll reach yeah, our things like we'll reach not as soon as yes, possible yes. so that we we'll try to cover up how many kilometers per day. Yes. Approximately how much? Six to seven hundred kilometers. Yes, I think that will be our aim. Yeah, yeah. To cover and then we'll take a rest and all. Let's see from there how much time yes. then we'll start driving again in the morning. Okay. So Amazing. let's enjoy it there right now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey guys, we are back again and uh, we are proceeding our journey towards Vijayapada so we will be reaching in next uh, 4 hours it's about 248 km away from this place so we are still in Andhra Pradesh and we will be reaching Vijayapada in the next 4 hours so so far everything is good. The only problem is the temperature is very high. It has gone up to 42, 43. Yes. So, but still we are managing with the AC that we have. Okay, we are finally in the one of the direct highway of India. Uh, I think it has uh, eight lanes. Yes. So we are. Uh, approximately 152 kilometers away from Vijayawada. So in next two hours, we will be reaching to Vijayawada. And uh, we plan to just take a uh, rest for a while, just have some, something just to impress ourselves. Because it's been a day traveling and exploring the beauty, yes. Odisha and you know that two days back cyclone happened and it was like massive disaster and many lives had been affected here. We are staying in this Oyo hotel and there is no electricity, no phone communication. The temperature is so high here, it is 46 degrees Celsius and I don't know how we're gonna manage tonight. Uh, this is our second night here in Odisha. So still we could see around the trees been lying, the house has been demolished so bad. It was like totally massive uh, situation here and it's very sad to see this. Guys, uh, we had an incident actually uh, while crossing the Assam. Uh, we, we were caught by the cops, those four cops. Like they were uh, asking for some money 
without reasoning and we, we asked them for receipts and they had no clue and they were simply trying to stop us on the way you know keep your camera on as we did because we have the video we'll upload in youtube so keep your cam camera on and and start talking to them and they ask you money ask ask two things ask the region and the receipt yes ask the receipt and the region two things and if they are able to give that then you give any amount because i'm 100 percent sure they will never be able to give you the receipt and the region they are just a corrupted cops so i really feel pity for the you know people the simple people. that's all but be careful keep your all the documents clear with you so that they have no any you know uh, uh yeah, they will. Yeah, they will not find any fault in us on us, and they have. They will not have any clue to you know just uh, knock us down. So be alert and be careful.